Hello to all my friends out there in YouTube. Land, it's your good buddy Phil Tastic Phil here. And my my beautiful wife, she says hello, of course. And we are here for another late night, well, late ish night unboxing. It just yeah. feels real just, late. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that late. Um, I wasn't going to record today, but uh, a package arrived. And I know that the person who sent this package has been asking me, when are you doing this? When are you opening it? When are you getting it? He called me out on his live show yesterday. Hey, when are you doing this unboxing? Well, Reggie, I just got the package this morning, dude. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, as I said, we're both exhausted. We have a baby coming literally at any point in time right now. She could come right in the middle of this unboxing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how, honey, how, why don't you tell everybody how you're doing no, in general now? Right? I'm a lot more exhausted. Um, it's harder to do things around the house without really wanting to sit. My back is really in pain. My ligaments, my legs are swollen, as you know. It's harder to walk around. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm grateful, <laughs> so... She's not complaining. No. And you're getting the uh, Tony Braxton Hicks. Yeah. Yes. Who knew Tony Braxton, by the way, in addition to being... Not Tony, a, she's a, Braxton. Tony Braxton Hicks. Yeah. She's, in addition to being a great singer, she happened to know a thing or two about gynecology. There you go. There you go. Unbreak my heart indeed. There you go. So let's open this up. So as I said, this is from Reggie Collects. I know one of this... One of these is, is Marcus related, his new venture from Swolder Publishing. And the other, if you looked at my last unboxing from Reggie, which a couple months ago at this point, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put a link around somewhere. Um, uh, he, he had a note in it. I don't know if I read it on the air. I think I did. That uh, he owed me something and he doesn't owe me anything. But uh, to to stay tight or stay tuned stay tuned yeah so um this part of this is that basically Sweet. the uh Sweet. sounds painful what <laughs> staying tight sounds really painful by the way <laughs> she thinks she's funny it's fine i blame the hormones so honey what are we going to open up first marcus or the bonus marcus marcus okay so, as I go out of panel and make sure I don't show this side with our address. By the way, still no tripod. I figured out how to get the new one to work and it's just not good. So, that is going back to the good people or machines at Amazon. And let's crack this up. This is a what? I deal with this all the time, and I'm happy to. Okay, and yes, I'm cutting away ish. Okay, so this is just one of those postal mailers, and this was package letter E, I believe, with a mystery package. Okay, so let's see what's in here. This is for who? Reggie. Okay. This is on his new. New venture, Marcus. So first, the one he's waiting for you to open. I believe so. Okay. He's waiting for both. I believe. Oh, okay. So first is the Reggie Collects Challenge Coin. Wow, what's that? You never got that before, did you? I do. Oops. But now my wife has one too. Is Here it worth go. a lot of money? It is. Like a million bucks. Hey, it looks like it's gold. I don't know. It's like a this, gold coin. This looks like gold. Yeah. Look. Have the hormones affected your, your vision? <laughs> there is no part of this that is gold what whatsoever. Is Look at it. It's like yellowish. That's probably the reflection you have the TV on. Here. Here. You can like, touch it. It's fine. She's afraid to touch things from the mail. It has like a goldish tint. It really doesn't. Yes, it does. I think uh, we're going to ask your doctor about colorblind. No, you Friends. are colorblind. That is certainly not. Leave a comment. Is it gold or silver? Why don't we say this? That's not silver. No. Is it? That, that's silver. 
the candle holder is silver. Is it silver? How about this? Leave a con shut the TV for a second, the screen, just so there's no glare. Is it silver? That's not silver. Leave a comment. Is it no. silver or are you wrong? Mm -mm. That's not silver. <laughs> I think you're colorblind. No. That's silver. Look at it. Look. This is, I re recognize this is the perfect opportunity to start singing in Vogue's Be Colorblind. But we already did Tony Braxton, so I'm not going to mix it in. No, no, no. Usually guys are colorblind, not girls. I've never heard that. My brother's the same, so. No, he isn't. Okay. <laughs> so, neither package and abundance of bubble wrap because Reggie's an awesome packer. Imagine if we could just from the little guy who's wrapped, he would have been like, yeah, with the bubble wrap, he would have... <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm to play with you. He allowed to do this. So the next in the mystery box, this was one of the things that he was included. Um, the gentleman who I believe he was the inspiration for Marcus Carmine Gentile had a book. Uh, yeah, he, he was a... What is that? See, a... I forgot if he's a Marine or a soldier. Well, he was in, um, what do you call it? Is it Pakistan? Anyway, he was uh, in the army, attacked by the Taliban, lost an eye. That's him on the cover. So that'll be, and it's signed. Carmine Gentile, it's called Blindsided by the Taliban. And in the back, it's hashtag kissed by the Taliban. You gonna touch it or no? Okay, so I'll put in that here, and then finally, I'm assuming this is the comic. I almost lost my knife here in the wrapping uh, in the bubble wrap, and again, we're cutting away, cutting away. I know we both seem a little punchy tonight. This is what you get when you have two exhausted people. Okay. Okay, it was pretty painless. So nice Gemini mailer. We love the Gemini mailers, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's another package inside. This is like a Russian oh, doll. It's a new bag. Yes, these yeah. are very cool actually. I'm gonna be doing um, my New York Comic Con unboxing soon. I don't think I've ever seen them. And before. just, I guess this is a spoiler if you're intent on watching that video. Um, when my arrives from Reggie, because uh, I didn't go, so it was mailed to me. Uh, it was soaked because it was pouring here in the Northeast. And this uh, this new heavy-duty bag, I'll show these off, is very cool Marcus artwork that's... Wow. Uh, in a very heavy-duty bag, which saved my books. This is from Chase Cowan, is the artist on it. And it kind of looks very Greg Capullo-ish. And it's resealable, but it's a cool bag. So there's a bunch of goodies in here. I'll make sure that we didn't leave anything out, of course. So this looks like a Marcus print. Again, same artist, Chase Cowan. Very Greg Capello-ish again, in my opinion. Hmm. That's cool. Okay. This, I remember these from the Soldier Supply Box. This is a Mandalorian, um, excuse me, Boba Fett print. Hmm. I think... I forgot who the artist was on that. They didn't sign it. Okay. Then this looks like this must have been a... a yeah, this is a reader copy of uh, of Marcus. This is good. So I, you can read this one and preserve the nicer covers. Hmm. See, he wrote reader copy on it. Yeah. And let's see. These are nice foil variant of that uh, art on the bag. Yeah. Okay, that's very cool. And then we have, this is a black and white cover signed by the writer Scott Palachuk. Palachuk, I think I said it right. Sorry if I didn't. And, uh, and by Reggie. You could tell the little asterisk is Reggie's signature. I doubt that's his actual signature, by the way, honey, because then, like, people could forge a signature. 
Well, that goes with any dog, can it? Are you saying? If you think about it. Well, I mean, if you're a, a, a public figure or a notable figure, you know, who's to say they're not going to just make up a fake check? And who's to say no? I used no to work in a bank. Attempt. I've seen a lot. Who's to say no one's attempting to right now? They could be doing it right at this second. Yep. And then, um, again, there's Marcus. This is the standard cover, I believe. Still a cool cover. Again, Sky signed by the writer Scott Palachik and, uh, and Reggie. So that's cool. Oh, same cover. Well, it's the standard cover. And you have, again, the black and white and the foil. Yep. And some other goodies in there, too. And, okay, so that was, oh, there's something else in here. Oh, these are magnets. Isolation cover four. And Marcus. It's good. We we haven't bought magnets in a while. So uh, we have plenty of in theory we'll Please. put this up on the fridge. If we put any more, we're not gonna even see the fridge no more. No. We don't have that many magnets. Yeah, we do. My wife and I used to buy a magnet. Um, w whenever we traveled, we'd buy at least one magnet. Yeah. And then um, COVID happened, and we haven't traveled. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, last time we went was Disney World, at the beginning of 2019, as we established earlier. I know. Okay, so that is the Marcus Mystery Pack. So now this arrived... Came earlier. Yeah, this it, it, we shipped on ten twenty four, and it's big and it's flat. So, any guesses what this might be? Poster. Could be a poster. It could just be you know Reggie knows we have a little guy and another coming. It could be a um, a big check. Uh, yes, a giant <laughs> check. Just like good. That was very good, honey. See. <laughs> She took as many shots at the hoop as she can, and she finally got a funny one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was going to say, you know, maybe he thinks our little guy wants to start, like, breakdancing. But, uh, no, I, I like yours better, honey. Oh, thank you. I got a hit. Yeah. You didn't think the others were funny? No? No, no. Okay, and... We sliced it open. I'm putting these gloves on because in case this is, you know, some kind of like precious artwork, I don't want to mess anything up. It looks oh. like you're working in a museum. <laughs> I, I, okay, so something is taped down on both ends. Okay. And on the sides. I don't own a lot of... Oh, here we go. It's like a document in a document. Yeah, it's like how you used to um, have presents. It's a Russian doll. Yeah, like national treasure. Okay, so there is that same print for Marcus taped to this. which is cool. I can't, is there something else inside? Because I can't imagine he did, oh yeah, there is something in here. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything in this portion first. I was gonna say, I can't imagine he put this big envelope, making sure I'm showing the side without our address on it. Make that mistake twice. Just for that little card, okay. Nothing else, okay. And this is good, because recycling was just today, so we can have these boxes ready to go for a whole nother week. But let's see. Okay, this is very cool. Very, very cool. This is... I'm not ripping this thing. This is just the tape. This is some original art, it looks like, from Marcus. Like, these are the... I think these are the roughs, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow and some prints here. I'm going to remove these if I could do so without damaging anything. Okay. 
I'm a little scared because I don't have a whole lot of space here. All right, hold on. The gloves are coming off. Was that supposed to be a joke? No, that's just like a thing. I didn't really know if I was supposed to be laughing. I'm bending this so that I'm bending the flap. Are you? Retrieving the glove. Are you? Again. Tense, right? I think you should uh, play tense music here. No, why? Why? put so any production value in. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to do this without damaging anything. So that, I thought this was a print. This is, as I'm out of panel completely now. No, yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're still there. All right, hold on. So, yeah, this is, I'll show this to my wife. This is, I guess, I think it's a rough. Very cool. Nice uh, helicopter over a nice desert scene signed by the artist chase cowan oh that's cool wow okay we're gonna put this over there we'll do that soon after yeah well all this will be <laughs> his one day our son and another page this is page two looks really cool i guess this is marcus the character carmen carmine rather inspired kind of looks a little bit like solid snake from metal gear solid in that panel looks like he's recording i guess he got captured maybe in it hard to say oh wow hmm. and this is really really cool i thought this was a print it is not this is this has got to be like I don't, I haven't read Marcus yet, so I don't know if this is a page inside of it. I should just probably show it to you. It looks more like a cover. And again, I thought it was a print, but you could clearly see the blue lines and the pencils and the ink line. It's very cool. Um, and I'm probably not going to be able to put this. Oh, I did get it. Okay. And this is actually two poster boards taped together. Wow. If I had the wall space, I'd hang it up. That's what I said. If, okay, good. If you've seen my office, you know I don't really have that much wall space left. Yeah. Next house. But this is, a wow. Something that's really cool about this, this is one of the things I did learn in art school. That was a takeaway. Um, yeah, by the way, we just released a video yesterday where... Uh, we're talking about just my art journey. So we're going to get to college and high school in the next chapter. It's a little bit of a spoiler, I guess. But is if you ever get a chance to see original artwork, get as close as you can and look at the, you can see the brush stroke, you can see everything. And you really get a sense of the, the motion that, uh, in this case, Cowan was making when he was drunk. I got to get this at least in a frame to preserve it. You could even just see like the... the effect of like these little white areas bubbling up i don't think that this is going to do it justice i also don't know if you can hear me because i realized i put the paper in front of my face which is also putting it hence in front of the microphone but this is very very cool here take a look at that honey yeah that's really detailed wow yeah so that was a very very cool surprise. I thought it was just a print. That's actually like no, it is. Look, look, it's it's not. Uh, it's the original art, rather. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can't even tell unless you come close to it. Yeah, this is actually here. You go. It's. I just realized this now. It's the original artwork for this print. Yeah. Yeah. It. That's awesome. That's why it was taped inside of it. That makes more sense. Uh, wow. I'm speechless. This was very cool. Reggie, thank you so, so much. Um, any parting words, honey? Thank you. She says thank you. She's exhilarated. Now I we tell. have to find storage in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued.
Uh, my wife did say earlier tonight, by the way, is if she went into labor while we were recording this, we would name our, our daughter uh, Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> no, we're, we're just going to name her Reggie. There you go. Well, Reggie is a man's name. It could be anything. Look, how, see, look, you have Stevie Nicks. That's a man's name. No, it's a lady. No. That can get easily confused. Come on. What about, um, who was that actress? She was trying to play Catwoman in the first Batman, 1989, and she was a little, I can't think of her name. Mm. Leave a comment if you remember her name. She went a little cuckoo. And I guess you have to be a little scary to intimidate or to freak out Tim Burton. So figure that one out. It's going to hit me as soon as we're done recording. I know this. She was in um, Ace Ventura. She was um, Einhorn and Finkel. I can't think of it. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that about wraps it for us. Reggie. Thank you again so much. This was really cool. I can't wait to read Marcus. It sounds like an interesting premise. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say other than peace, love, and comics. Take care, people.